Welcome back to Math Party, people. So the question reads, again, remember, word problems start with the question. How much further did Gordon travel than the football? All right. So by reading that at first, really the advantage we have here is understanding what we're trying to accomplish. And sometimes the great thing about math is that a question might even tell you what to do. There might be some keywords in there that really reveal what's going on. So how much further did Gordon travel than the football? What that means, everybody, what that means is, hey, look, look at this keyword right here. How much further? What does that mean? Well, you're basically taking a difference. You're taking a difference. So like if I ran one mile and you ran five miles, how much further did you run than me? Five minus one, four miles. You ran four miles further. So with that simple example, we can translate the same thinking. Yeah, we'll have different numbers, but it's the same idea. How much further did Gordon travel than the football? What that tells me is that our answer will be Gordon minus football. And again, how much further? That's distance. So take the distance that Gordon ran, take the distance the football traveled, subtract them, and you're done. So how are we going to get that information? Now we go to the story. So Carl threw a football at the same time Gordon started sprinting in the same direction. The football traveled 48 yards. Okay, right there. The football, I'll go ahead and highlight that in blue. And so whether this is your first or 50th YouTube video of mine, it doesn't matter. Why don't you join me for a live class? That way you can ask questions, raise your score, and get the job you want for free. Again, I host classes once a week on Zoom, typically on Mondays. So go ahead and click the link up there or down here somewhere, register for free, and you get my free practice test that has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. That's what it's all about here, my party people. I want to help you succeed, so don't hesitate. Sign up for free, and then let's get back to this problem here. Let's keep raising our scores. Right here, that's 48 yards. And then, by the time the football landed, Gordon ran for 171 feet. Okay, I'll go ahead and use red for that. Gordon ran 171 feet. Gordon, over here, 100 and 71 feet we're subtracting so there it is there it is but what do we notice notice how gordon 171 feet the football 48 yards Woo! be careful there be very careful there we have to convert yards and feet together so that way we can do the subtraction correctly right now we can't subtract if you subtracted and you ended up getting 123 feet, well, sorry to say, that's the wrong answer. What we need to do here is convert them to the same unit, being right here, feet, feet. That's what we're looking for here. We wanna convert them to feet. Gordon is already in feet, the football is not. So what we will need to do is take 48 yards and then we will convert that into feet. The conversion factor is three feet equals one yard, or one yard is three feet either way. But when you apply the conversion rate, remember what you wanna get rid of needs to be on the opposite end, what you want and the other. So since we have yards technically up top, we'll have one yard on bottom, three feet up top. Again, you're just copying the conversion rate as a fraction. That's all you gotta do. And what we'll notice beautifully, uh, beautifully shown here, boom, yards cancel out. And so to turn 48 feet or 48 yards, excuse me, into feet, we're just multiplying by three. And if you knew that already, and you knew that, hey, yo, just multiply by three and you're good, that's fine. That's great. You know how it works. I'm showing you the conversion rate. So that way it doesn't matter what units you're using. It could be quarts, cups, pints, and ounces. It could be kilometers, uh, it could be decis, it could be centis, it could be millis, doesn't matter. This always works. So with that said, use this while you are getting comfortable with all types of unit conversions. But long story short, 48 multiplied by three, what's that gonna be? 48 times three is the same as 40 times three, eight times three, and add them back together. That's my split and glue strategy. Please make sure to watch mental math videos. That way you can calculate a lot faster. But nonetheless, 48 times three will end up being 120 plus 24, which is 144. So that will be 144 feet. 
So there it is. All I have to do is place that right here to convert. That's 144 feet. We still have the 171 feet minus 144. So when we subtract, what we'll receive will end up being 27. So 171 minus 144, that's gonna be over here. Seven is gonna to have to be used. They got 11. 11 minus four is seven, six minus four is two, one minus one, nothing. So 27 feet. That's how much further Gordon ran than the football traveled. B, there it is. So again, I know that might've been frustrating if you would have missed that conversion in the very beginning, but I hope that we can grow from our mistakes now. I'll see you in the next problem. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.